y'all know what this is. This is part four. <laughs> We're going to go through uh, this big shelf. We are going to go through the top four rows. As I stated in the last video, we're going to finish up all the I's, get through all the J's, all the K's, all the L's, and get started on the very beginning of M. So, I Feel Pretty. That's one I liked. Another one I liked, If I Stay. Igor, haven't watched that yet. I Hope They Serve Beer in Hell. I heard that this was really terrible, and I ended up watching it, and it's surprisingly not that bad. Imagine that. I Melt With You, two movies I have not watched yet. Impractical Jokers, the movie, absolutely love that one. I'm Still Here, haven't checked that one out yet. Inception, great movie. Independence Day, this comes with uh, both cuts of the movie. Really, really good movie. Independence Day Resurgence, the not very good sequel. I really don't know what they were thinking with that one. Indivisible, uh, surprisingly, one of the few pure flicks movies that isn't just based on shoving religion down your throat. It is a faith-based story that has a story and purpose and real-life human characters. I really enjoyed that one. Incredibles 2, great movie. Inglorious Bastards, one of my all-time favorites. Inherent Vice, fantastic movie. Inherit the Viper, really, really good movie from last year. Inside Lewin Davis, really, really good. Inside Man, good movie. And then the really solid direct-to-video sequel, Inside Man Most Wanted. Invisible Target, I tell you, I have seen this, but I remember nothing about it. So, Inside Out, which I actually do have a poster for. Uh, great, great movie. Instant Family, another great movie. Interrogation, haven't watched this yet. Interstellar with a beautiful steel book. Love this movie. Interview with the Hitman, haven't watched that yet, but I do like Luke Goss. In the Line of Fire. In the Mood for Love, a cheap criterion that I found. In the Name of the King, a Dungeon Siege Tale. In the Name of the King 2, Two Worlds. In the Name of the King 3, The Last Mission, and In the Valley of Elah. All of those movies I have not yet watched. In Time, this movie is super underrated. I highly recommend that one. Into the Ashes, that's pretty decent. Into the Woods, really good. Into Deep, haven't watched that yet. Invasion of the Body Snatchers from 78. Yeah, this one's really good. It Man Season 1. Haven't watched that yet. I haven't seen any It Man. They made, like, so many spin-off movies and everything, so... Ironclad, uh, pretty terrible, not gonna lie. And then the sequel, Ironclad Battle for Blood. Haven't even watched that yet, so... Iron Man. Iron Man 2. And Iron Man 3. Some more great MCU there. Iron Mask. <laughs> not very good. <laughs> Irresistible. That's pretty decent. Isn't It Romantic? Also pretty decent. It and It Chapter 2. Both of those I really do love. Uh, I do have the original, but spoiler alert, I'll show it over here. Um, it's called Stephen King's It, so I put that under S. So, trust me, I do have it, and I have seen it. It Follows, fantastic movie. Another fantastic movie, I, Tanya. It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, A Very Sunny Christmas, great Christmas special. It's a mad, 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 mad world. Love that movie. It's a Wonderful Life. I know this, this, this is going to sound blasphemous, but I've never seen this movie. It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Classic. This also comes with It's Magic, Charlie Brown. So, there we go. It Waits. Haven't watched that yet. Jack and Diane, haven't watched that yet. Jackass 3, Jackass Presents Bad Grandpa, and Jackass Presents Bad Grandpa Point Five. Love the Jackass movies. I am a little excited for the new one coming out this year. Um, I do have the others. They're over in the DVDs. I'm a little sad that I, I believe Bam Margera is not going to be a part of them. Uh, he's going through a lot. So 
We'll see. I hope it's fun. Jackie Brown. Love that movie. One of my all-time favorites. That just gave me a heart attack. Oh, Lord. Jack Reacher, Never Go Back. The solid sequel to Jack Reacher. I did like Jack Reacher, but I, for some reason, don't have it. Alrighty. Jack Ryan, Shadow Recruit. That was pretty decent. Jaws, this movie is a classic. I just watched this for the first time this year. Loved this movie. This comes with two really long documentaries, which is awesome. The Shark is Still Working, The Impact and Legacy of Jaws, and then The Making of Jaws. And then, of course, I checked out the three sequels. Jaws 2 is just okay. Jaws 3 is ridiculous, but it's so much fun. And Jaws the Revenge is horrible. I really didn't like that one. Jay and Silent Bob reboot. A lot of people have mixed opinions on that. I, for one, really enjoyed it. Oh, God, here we go. JCVD, love that movie. Really great uh, Van Damme movie. In order for my hand to have room, I am going to have to move you guys. So, there we go. All righty. Jay Edgar, haven't watched that yet. Jeff Dunham, Controlled Chaos. Jeff Dunham, Minding the Monsters, and Jeff Dunham, Unhinged in Hollywood. I do enjoy Jeff Dunham. I know he's very love it or hate it, but, I, you know, I don't mind him. Um, double feature set of Jennifer's Body and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Jennifer's Body is actually really underrated. I would recommend that. Uh, the Buffy the Vampire Slayer movie, gotta tell you, was not a fan. <laughs> Another double feature here of Jet Li's Fearless and Unleashed. Two more movies I haven't watched. Jigsaw, really good. Um, I think that they did a really good job of kind of putting new life into the Saw franchise um, because I, I am with everybody. They should have stopped after three, but where there's money to be made, they just kept pumping them out. So, Jingle All the Way, classic. And I should get a Turbo Man doll. They did just release those. Put that cookie down now. Jingle all the way to the needless but surprisingly decent sequel. I'll pull both of those out. Why not? John Carter, not good at all. I will. I would. I would venture to say you need to stay away from that. The John Hughes Five Movie Collection. This comes with planes, trains, and automobiles which uh, I do have on Blu-ray. That was the only other one I had on Blu-ray. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. She's Having a Baby, Pretty in Pink, and Some Kind of Wonderful. Love Planes, Trains, and especially love Ferris Bueller, but shocker, shocker, I haven't seen the other three. Then we have the Johnny English Trilogy with Johnny English, Johnny English Reborn, and Johnny English Strikes Again. Sorry, there we go. All three of those are a lot of fun. Then we have the John Wick trilogy. We got John Wick. John Wick Chapter 2. And John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. I am very excited for um, the fourth movie coming out. Uh, I hope it's as good as the, the other three. Joker, great, great movie. Joy, another great movie. Joyride, fantastic movie, and another fantastic movie, Judas and the Black Messiah. All right, should have no issues from here on out. Judge Dredd, haven't watched that yet. Judy, great movie about Judy Garland. Juice, fantastic movie. I will say uh, Tupac, for his narrative films, he never did a bad movie. Um... This is one of the best ones that he did. It's a very scary movie. It's not a horror movie, but it, he's very scary in that. Great, great movie. Juliet Naked, highly underrated. I like that one a lot. Jumanji. Jumanji, The Next Level, which is the third film. And then the second film, Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. I have them like that be just purely because of alphabetical reasons. The Jurassic Park Ultimate Trilogy. You got Jurassic Park, the classic, the pro probably the best. The Lost World Jurassic Park, which is decent, not too bad. 
Jurassic Park 3, which I thought was just okay. Then you got Jurassic World, which I believe is the second best of the, the movies. And Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, which I enjoyed. I know a lot of people had some love it or hate it views of this, but I really did enjoy that one. I'm very much looking forward to Jurassic World Dominion next year. Just Go With It, it's decent. Just Mercy, that's fantastic. Justice League, uh, the theatrical cut. I do enjoy this movie. I know it has severe problems. They just announced that on September 7th, uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League is getting a Blu-ray, DVD, and 4K release. Uh, and since I don't have HBO Max, of course I'm going to be buying that. Um, I really don't like how people are referring to this as um, Justice League because it is the Joss Whedon version. Um, I just think that's stupid. I really don't like how things become trendy. The stupidest things become trendy. Justified the complete first season, second season, and third season. Uh, that's about half the series right there. I still need four, five, and six. Keanu, great movie. Keeping Up with the Joneses, that's all right. Keepers of the Magic, a documentary I have not watched yet. Kevin Hart, I'm a Grown Little Man. Kevin Hart, Let Me Explain, and Kevin Hart, What Now? All three of those are very solid. The Kevin Smith Three Movie Collection. This comes with Clerks, Chasing Amy, and Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. All three are fantastic. However, all of the special features from the DVD of Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back are taken off of that Blu-ray. And for some reason, there is a feature-length documentary on Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back that's on the Clerks Blu-ray. Why that is, I have no idea. Then we have Kick-Ass. I have two versions of it. This one I will always keep because it is one of the very first Blu-rays I ever got. And then I found this version later with a slip. I love this movie. It's one of my all-time favorites. And the really awesome sequel, Kick-Ass 2. Love that one as well. Kickboxer. It's fun. Love that movie. Kickboxer Retaliation. And Kickboxer Vengeance. Those two are pretty decent as well. Kidnap, really fun, although this movie was 95 minutes when it was in theaters, and for some reason, for the home video release, they cut it to 82 minutes for no reason. I have no idea why. Kill Bill, uh, Volume 1 and 2, um, I just consider it one movie split into two. Great movie or movies. Kill Em All, solid Van Damme movie. Killer Elite, another good one. Killer Clowns from Outer Space, I haven't watched that yet. Killers, that's decent. Killer Weekend, haven't watched that yet. Killing Gunther, this has this had so much potential and they just didn't execute it very well, pun sort of intended. Um, I've seen this twice, both times I didn't like it. Uh, I revisited this one last year for the Schwarzenegger Marathon I did. And, you know, it had so much potential and they just didn't do a very good job with it. But Schwarzenegger's awesome in the movie. Killing Kennedy, that's really good. Killing Them Softly, great movie. I haven't seen it since I saw it in theaters, though, so I do need to rewatch it. Kill Katie Malone, haven't watched that yet. Kill Me Three Times, really fun movie. Kill Zombie, this is a Wellgo USA movie. Um, found it for like a buck. I haven't watched it yet. Kingdom of Heaven. Uh, I hear that this is not a very good movie. However, this is the three and a half hour version. So I, I'm told that if I am going to watch it, that's the one to watch. Then we have King Kong, uh, the remake, the bare bones edition. This just comes with commentary and then both cuts of the movie. And I'm like, that won't do. So I ended up getting this one for super cheap. The ultimate edition, which is like loaded with features. It comes with a like a really long documentary called uh I know it's blurry I'm sorry recreating the eighth wonder the making of king kong so I got to check that one out Okay here's something that I have watched this is King Midas This is a terrible movie and I'm going to tell you exactly what to expect 
these two people and this dog, they're on the cover, they're on the disc. They're not in the movie. I don't know what they're doing here. <laughs> King of New York. I haven't watched that yet, although I'm told that is somewhat of a gangster classic. Kingsman The Golden Circle. The highly solid sequel to the very awesome Kingsman The Secret Service. Both are fantastic. I cannot wait for The Kingsman later this year. That should be really good. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, love that one. Kiss of the Damned, I haven't watched that yet. Kiss of the Dragon, also haven't watched that yet. Night and Day, that's pretty solid. Night Club, I remember that being pretty entertaining. Knives Out, fantastic movie. This comes with a really cool two-hour documentary, too, uh, called Making a Murder. Really, really cool. Knock Knock, great movie. I love that one. Knock Out, haven't watched that one yet. Knowing, also haven't watched that one yet. And Knucklehead, also haven't watched that one yet. Oh. Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu Panda 2. And Kung Fu Panda 3. All three of those are pretty good. Labyrinth, I know it's classic, but I have not seen that yet. Another classic, this one I have seen though, L.A. Confidential. This is literally one of the best movies ever made. La Femme Nikita, haven't checked that one out yet. Laggies, that's a pretty solid one. Lake Placid 2, haven't seen any of those movies, I just found that one at a Dollar Tree. Lakeview Terrace, really good movie. La La Land, the Target exclusive, just a f fantastic movie. Lara Croft Tomb Raider and Lara Croft Tomb Raider The Cradle of Life. I haven't seen these two movies yet. I have seen the new one, Tomb Raider with uh, Alicia Vikander. I wasn't a huge fan of that. I hear they're doing another one of those, so yay. Last Action Hero, love that movie. Last Christmas, great. I love that one. I find that to be really underrated. Laura, haven't watched that yet. Law Abiding Citizen, also haven't watched that yet. Leap of Faith, William Friedkin on The Exorcist. Again, Shudder popping it out with these really solid documentaries. Unfortunately, while this is good and I would recommend it, if you're going to do a documentary on The Exorcist, I feel like you need to include almost everyone else that was involved and not just have one person talk to you for almost two hours about it. He has a lot of interesting things to say, but not everything he says is interesting. <laughs> It kind of gets a little long by the end. The Nick Cage left behind, which is awful. <laughs> but I do want every Nick Cage movie, so hey. Legally Blonde, great movie. I hated the second one, and the third one, oh god, is awful. They're doing another one, though, so I hope they do it right. Legends of Mid-South Wrestling. I am unsure if this is a documentary or not, but it's wrestling, so had to get it. Leon the Professional. I know this is a classic, but I haven't watched it yet. Leprechaun, the complete movie collection, just comes with Leprechaun, Leprechaun 2, Leprechaun 3, Leprechaun 4 in Space, Leprechaun in the Hood, Leprechaun Back to the Hood, and Leprechaun Origins. And then the new one that they did, uh, Leprechaun Returns, which was pretty decent. As for the others, um, really enjoyed 1, 2, uh, and 3, and 4, despite how ridiculous and stupid they are. In the Hood is okay. That just focuses on like three no-name rappers trying to sign a record deal. Back to the Hood was also just okay, and Origins was terrible. I have two versions of Les Miserables. Uh, that's the one I got at first, and then this one comes with a bonus disc, so I just decided to keep both copies. Lethal Weapon, the complete first season. This is really why I don't buy individual TV seasons anymore, because they always do this. They will release one season through like actual DVD or Blu-ray, and then those sales don't end up doing the numbers that they hope, and so they just release the rest of them through DVD-R, and I, I hate that. Um, or, in the case of Impractical Jokers, they just stop releasing them altogether. Uh, that's why I just wait for a complete series set now. Uh, except, spoiler alert, for my boys, uh, Supernatural, we'll get to that later, <laughs> 
Let Him Go, awesome movie. Loved that one. That was on my best of the year for 2020. Let's Be Cops, that was all right. Letters to Juliet. Lies and Illusions. And Life, all three of those I haven't seen yet. Life of Crime, a really good movie. Kind of a remake of uh, Ruthless People with Danny DeVito and Bette Midler. Life of Pi, hey, you can see me there. Really good movie. Life of the Party, I like that one. Lights Out, really good. Limitless, really, really good. I liked that one. Didn't like the TV show. Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, fantastic, though for whatever stupid reason, this does not come with the director's cut. Lock Up, haven't checked that one out yet. Logan, great movie, love that one. Logan Lucky, another great movie. London Has Fallen, solid. Um, I, like I said, I do have the others, but they're just throughout the collection. Lone Survivor in this pretty solid steelbook. Love that movie. Tough to watch, though. Long Shot, really good. Looking for Lennon, haven't watched that yet. Looney Tunes, back in action, the movie. One of my all-time favorite movies. I absolutely love this one. You know those mummy movies? I'm in them more than Brendan Fraser. <laughs> Lord of War, haven't checked that one out yet. This is Los Indestructibles 2. The Expendables 2. This is just a Spanish release of it. I don't know why. It is region free. I do believe I can play it. So for collecting purposes, I just thought it was funny to have a Spanish version of some movie that I already have. Then we have Lost Boys The Thirst, which is the third Lost Boys film. And Lost Boys The Tribe, which is the second Lost Boys film. I do have the first one. It is under T because it is called The Lost Boys. Um, Lost Boys is great. I have not seen those two sequels, so who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Lottery ticket. That's pretty decent. Okay, now for all the love movies. Love and Monsters. That was pretty solid. I, I will always, I'll never forgive myself. There is a theater um, south of Parma. It's kind of right around where Parma and Brunswick meet, if you're in the Ohio area, if you know what I'm talking about. There's a theater called Hickory Ridge Cinemas, and this was playing there. And I almost went back to that theater to go see this. But then I'm like, no, it's coming to Blu-ray. I'll just get it on Blu-ray. I tell you, I really regret not going back to see it. Because, especially considering the movie that I did go see there was After We Collided, which is not only the worst movie of last year and the sequel to the worst movie of 2019 after, but is just one of the most god-awful pieces of cinema I've ever seen. So I owe this movie a sincere apology because I really should have seen this instead. Love and Other Drugs. I love that movie. No pun intended, I, but it is just such a sweet movie. Love Actually, really, really good. This movie is really, really, really underrated. Lovelace, this is all about the, uh, the, the porn star Linda Lovelace. Um, just really, really underrated. Love, Simon, great movie. That is a movie that makes me cry uh, during his... Um, final talk with his father, Josh Dumel. That's when I just start losing it. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> love story. Uh, love means never having to say that you're sorry. Uh, I just watched this for the first time this year. Great movie. Bit cheesy, but it is what it is. And another underrated one, Love the Coopers. So there you go. Come on. There we, there we go. Lucy, another steel book. Really, really great movie. Like that one a lot. Lucky, haven't watched this yet. Um, Lucky Day, I like that one. I'll watch anything with Crispin Glover, man. He's so underrated. Ma, don't make me drink alone. Don't make me drink alone. <laughs> That's such a fun movie. MacArthur, I haven't watched that yet. MacGruber, so underrated. I love this movie so much. And a fantastic soundtrack. 
Machete, great movie. Uh, I do enjoy the sequel, but I just ha I haven't gotten it yet. Machine Gun Preacher, haven't watched that yet. Macho Man, the Randy Savage story. Oh, yeah! Haven't watched that yet, but I do love me some Macho Man. Madagascar 3, Europe's Most Wanted. I will never forget this. My mom and I went to go see this in theaters. And it was... That's probably the last time I've seen this movie. And it was during, like, the opening... The first half hour of the movie. They're on, like, a, a chase through Europe. And the, the police inspector, voiced by Francis McDormand, there's a part where... They're like, you know, the penguins spill like fish oil throughout the back of the truck and they go oil slick. And the, the inspector gets off of her like little scooter, is able to like skate through it and then gets back on her scooter without, a, without you know, missing a beat. And I'll never forget, my mom just turns and looks at me and she goes, yeah, right. Like that would happen. And I looked right at her and I said, this is a movie with talking circus animals and this is where you question it. <laughs> Speaking of, I do have this awesome box set um, that Universal and DreamWorks released, which they did for Shrek, which, again, another spoiler, I do have. <laughs> um, this comes with all four of the movies, Madagascar, Madagascar Escape to Africa, Madagascar 3, and Penguins of Madagascar. Also comes with three shorts and ten TV episodes from Penguins of Madagascar and All Hail King Julian, so that's a really cool set. Maggie, really good movie. Magic Mike and Magic Mike Double XL or XXL. Those are both fun. Well, the first one's not really fun. I would just say it's more of a good movie. Malcolm X, awesome movie. Really love that one. Maleficent, good movie. And then the decent but very unnecessary sequel, Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. Mallrats, great movie, but I'm going to tell you, stick with the theatrical version because the extended version really isn't all that good. Mamma Mia, which is good. And then Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again, which is the solid sequel. like that one a lot. Management, haven't watched that yet. Manchester by the Sea, it's a good movie. Mandrill, haven't watched that yet. Maniac, haven't watched that one yet either. Man of Steel, great movie. I like that one. Double feature of Man on Fire, which is really great, and Out of Time, which I have not seen. Marauders, it's pretty decent. March of the Penguins, that's pretty good. Uh, just so everyone's aware, there is a sequel to that out there. I haven't, I haven't seen that either. Marley and Me, great movie. Martha, Marcy, May, Marlene, uh, have not watched that yet. Marvel's The Avengers, that's great. Love that one. Parts of the uh, the movie was shot downtown Cleveland, so that's that's pretty awesome. Mary Poppins Returns, great movie. Um, I do have the original Mary Poppins on DVD, but would like to get it on Blu-ray. Master, haven't seen that yet. Masterminds, that's all right. Masters of Terror, uh, this comes with Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers, Hellraiser, Hellseeker, Venom, Cursed, Darkness, and Phantoms. Uh, I've seen Cursed, which I liked, and I've seen The Curse of Michael Myers, which is all right. Um, but I would say, if you're a hardcore collector like me, stick to the DVDs of these, because I do own Darkness and Cursed on DVD, and those are the unrated versions. I have Venom on DVD for the features, same thing for Hellraiser, Hellseeker, Phantoms, though, I just don't have. So I pretty much paid like a buck for this set, which I thought was not too bad. Matchstick Men. Oh, I love this movie so much. One of my all-time favorites. Definitely see it if you haven't. Max Cloud. Another decent Scott Adkins movie. A really fun one, too. Maximum Conviction. Great Steven Seagal, uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin movie. Maximum Impact, haven't watched that yet. Max Payne, that's all right. The only pink Blu-ray I have, Mean Girls, classic. Mean Streets, I know it's a classic, haven't watched that yet. Mechanic Resurrection, um, I do have the first movie. This was all right, I thought it was kind of boring. Meet Dave, that's all right. Meet the Spartans, that's terrible. 
Mega Fault, that's a decent movie. Mega Piranha. Mega Shark vs. Giant Octopus. And Mega Shark vs. Mecha Shark. This isn't even all the movies in the series. Uh, I haven't seen any of those yet, but good old Asylum just pumping out the stupid stuff. This is Asylum too, but that one's pretty decent. Is that Asylum? Yeah, okay, I thought I was misreading that. We have the Men in Black Trilogy coming with 1, 2, and 3. All three of those are great. And then I have another edition of the third one I picked up for a dollar because it comes with a bonus disc. And then we have Men in Black International, which was fine, but if you're going to do a Men in Black movie, you need to have Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones. I love Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson, but I don't see them as Men in Black. And we will finish off this part here with another Asylum title, Mercenaries. This is basically the female version of uh, The Expendables. I haven't watched that yet, but I plan on doing so soon. So that is it for part four of my collection. Thank you guys for continuously watching these. Stay tuned for part five. We're basically just going to do the bottom half of the shelf. We're going to finish up all the M's, get through all the N's, all the O's, all the P's, the very few Q's that I have, and most of the R's. So stay tuned for that. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.